Stephen, just what is narrative therapy with children? It's a very good question, Don. <laughs> John. Um, well, in a nutshell, the simplistic um, answer would be is that what we attempt to do is to not privatize problems with inside children. We try not to totalize children with any kind of psychological description. We understand that there are problems, but we like to look at the context, the surrounding context of the problem. And that way, what we attempt to do is to uh, listen to how it is, the story of how it is that the child and or family is getting taken over by the problem. Okay. And then we bifurcate that and also look at how it is that the child and family are getting a leg up on the problem. So what we attempt to do is to really listen very, very carefully to the story that the child is telling. I have a sense that children, as you'll see, um, have so much to say and are experts around what, uh, quite often what is going on in their lives, but quite often we don't um, listen to them. We're, um, we tend to um, use our own expert knowledge as opposed to um, soliciting their own expert knowledge on what's going on in their life. So empathy would be really an important part of this process of really trying to understand mm -hmm. how the child sees the world and sees the family and sees the problem? Yes, and how the world sees them. Because um, we have a saying that goes something like this, that be very careful of the stories that you tell about yourself and that others tell about you because eventually they'll live you. What we're suggesting from a, I suppose, post-structural point of view is that we speak ourselves into meaning. And so we have to be very, very careful of the stories that we're telling about children because they might begin to live through those professionalized stories. Mm -hmm. So we're attempting to unravel or unpack the stories that are affecting uh, this child or children mm -hmm. or family and uh, we attempt to separate the person from the problem. So Good we job. should watch in this interview the way you try to find out what, why they're there, what their problem yeah. is. Yeah, and sometimes it skips around. Um, you know, um, I could have labeled this different, differently in different ways, but what eventually came out was um, uh, something called taunting. Now, I, I um, I may have called it something else, but the young man called it, uh, or the mother, I can't really Somebody remember at this did, point. Yeah. Someone called it taunting, and so taunting was what we wanted to uh, get a description of, exactly what that was, how it affects the family, what are the life support systems of this problem, and then begin to look on the other side of how it is that the family, what the skills are and resources of the family are that are able to stand up to this. And you do all of this through questions? I do it all through questions. I mean, it's simply... There's the problem of the story and the effects of the story on the person's life. And then there's the story of the family and how it is that resists the problem. So I always, you know, put my, put a line down the middle of the page. And so you've got the story of the problem and the story of the person. Mm -hmm. and, and then you finish up with uh, some kind of an exercise for them to do or homework or? No, it was, um, I, if you see, I take quite a lot of notes. Normally I take quite a bit more notes, but um, I thought that might be a bit distracting to, to David, and mm -hmm. um, but when I, I always write them, would write a letter, and what I would do is lift their words off the pa piece of paper here and construct it into a letter, a therapeutic letter that would uh, review what it is that they talked about. So when people see their actual words, they become experts in, in this document, you know, and quite often People have documents written about them, certainly in the psychological world, and, and now I see these letters that I will construct to the family as a counter doc document, that there's the file, right. and this is a counter file, and this is the file that they've written, and then maybe there's been other files that are written about them. And what's interesting in this is that um, I've a I asked, also asked them to write their own account so that this, uh, this knowledge that they have mm -hmm. about standing up to taunting could be circulated uh, amongst the other family, family members. Well, so, yeah. well, let's watch how you use your curiosity and questions and maybe the viewers, what they might want to do is to imagine what kind of a letter they would write at the end of this right. session. Excellent idea. 